What's up beautiful people out there? Welcome to my channel. This is Rebecca. If this is the first time for you being here on my channel, welcome. This is so exciting. I'm so glad to have you here. This channel is all about personal growth, my experience as an au pair, and in the future are coming more music videos. So stay tuned. I love inspiring people. I love motivating people. I love encouraging people. So if you want to get motivated, if you want to get inspired, make sure you subscribe right now. In 2021, I'm going to upload every week another video for you so stay tuned be excited and I'm excited too <laughs> anyways in today's video I want to talk about homesickness I have been there I know exactly how it feels like it was not the best time of my life but I do think there are ways how we all can overcome homesickness I'm going to talk about my own experience and what helped me what might help you too if you are dealing with homesickness or you might deal with homesickness in the future so let's go right into this video now and make sure you grab yourself a cup of coffee, a snack, a tea, whatever makes you happy. Just grab yourself something that makes you happy and then come back and then let's go ahead and chat. Okay, so the first thing that really helped me to overcome homesickness was to recognize this time that I have here apart from my family, living abroad and not being with my friends or whatever, is just to notice and to recognize, to recognize that this time is limited and I'm not going to have the chance to live this moment again. Recognizing that and having this mindset really helped me to live more in the presence. It is so easy to stay in your room, talk a lot to your family, look at all those pictures and the videos and the memories that you have with your friends and family. But you know what? This is the time where you are there. This is a time where you have the chance to meet new people, to go out, to put yourself out there and to make new friends and to experience things that all your friends and all your family members cannot experience. I mean, this is a time that you have to take advantage of. So since I recognize that this time that I have there or wherever I am, like living, you know, living abroad, living apart from your film is such a precious time. But would I be even happier to be in that place right now? Or can I just be happy here and be happy there when I'm back? You know what I mean? Like working on your mindset and like seeing things from a different perspective really helped me. And then when you have that mindset, when you know, okay, this time is limited, this time I have to take advantage of it. I know with COVID, it's it's hard, it's not the same as before. Do a little research. What are the places that you have not been? I, for example, live in a very, very small town. Everybody asks me, you are no pair? And what, like, what are you doing here in Cokeville? <laughs> you know, everybody is in California, Los Angeles, New York City, and like all those big places that are known for like, if I go to the United States, I'm gonna go there. And I live in a very, very small, small town, but I love it here. And since I have researched um, what kind of places I can visit here, I mean, we have like the best hike places. We have the best restaurants here. And so I'm, you know, I'm happy here and I'm happy that I'm right now not in all those big places because it's crazy there right now. Anyway, so just try to find out what are the cool places that you can go. And I know it's hard right now with COVID. I said that before, but making plans ahead or planning for the future is also something that um, makes you feel excited. It makes you feel happy. Do something that is fun. Work on your bucket list, all the things that you want to do, all the things that you're excited for. Another thing that really, really helped me is to have a routine and to have a plan for the day. So I used to just live my day like, okay, let's see what happened. But since I have a routine in my life and since I, or like in my days, I'm happier because I know I get things done and I know I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the things that I'm going to do in the, in the week or during the week or during my day. So it's, it's kind of good to have a good routine and say, okay, in the morning I'm gonna start my day with a workout and then I'm gonna meet a friend and then I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'm gonna do this and this, but you're looking forward to that thing that you're going to do. The more time we think about the things that are going on on the other side of the world, the less time we will have to think about things that are positive and think about things that we can actually do at that moment. So another advice that I could give you is to take a social media break. It honestly helped me so much because it's hard when you see 
all the things that are going on on the other side of the world and you know so many exciting things i remember um i was here and there were so many weddings going on in germany and my friend got a baby she was pregnant and everybody was getting married and i was like okay well i'm here <laughs> and nothing exciting is happening at this moment so you know and that was a moment where i was like i mean i wish i would be there right now but we often forget there's so many beautiful things around us and we don't see that because we're so stuck with our phone we are so stuck with the things that are going on on the other side of the world so it does help to just delete your social media for a couple of weeks or for a couple of days and just to focus on the things that you can do here and be excited about it because remember whenever you're going to be back where in your in your country or with your family or with your friends then you won't have the chance to be here again so just focus on the things that are around you and studies have shown if we spend too much time in scrolling and scrolling and scrolling then we will increase the feeling of anxiety depression and stress so it's always super helpful to have a social media break i did it a couple of weeks ago and it was so so good i didn't have instagram on facebook for two weeks and it was it was a very good decision to do um so i can definitely recommend it to you just try it out honestly challenge yourself to not be on social media platforms for a couple of weeks or a couple of days it definitely changes your way of thinking afterwards like and you realize how much time you spend on your phone um whenever you don't have those things yeah so make sure you try it out <laughs> so my last tip for you is to invest in yourself and to work on yourself and don't waste your time on things that makes you feel unhappy depressed and anxious this is a time where you can really focus on yourself and invest in yourself and one question that you can ask yourself is how do you want your family to see you when you whenever you come back or your friends or your boyfriend or your girlfriend do you want them to see you unhappy depressed or anxious or do you want them to see you happier more motivated healthier fit like how do you want them to see you i'm not saying that you should do all those things to impress them but at the same time this is a perfect time where you can show everybody hey this is the time that i had and this is the time that i invested in myself and i worked on myself and i did not waste my time and yes i might have been through a hard season but i stood up and i didn't give up and i kept working on myself because this time is precious to me and even though i'm apart from my family or from my friends and i miss them a lot I will be working on myself because whenever you're working on yourself, whenever you invest in yourself, um, you can always give others much more than uh, you can give if you don't invest in yourself, if that makes sense. You can start to create a new and healthy habits and you know, whenever you're going back, um, your family is going to say, hey, this is a new person. This is not my old uh, Katie or <laughs> Jamie or whatever your name is. This is a new person and it's a better person. It's a person that invested in herself or him himself. So I want to challenge you to really not waste your time on things that may feel depressed or unhappy or focus too much on like you know what's going on on the other side of the world so use the time to invest in you use the time to be the best you be someone who can inspire and motivate and encourage others whenever you're back and everyone is going to say this is not the old person and trust me a lot of people are going to say well you're different you're different but i hope you're different in a good way and whenever you're going back to your country i want people to see that change and i honestly say it from the bottom of my heart it always makes my day when when i see people investing in themselves because as soon as you invest in yourself you can make a change and you can be the change we often want change others and we want to change everyone we want to change the president we want to change our boyfriend our girlfriend our wife or a husband but honestly the change starts with you and if you are willing to change and if you're willing to invest in yourself and see okay what are the things that i have to work on then you can change everything around you then you can change your family then you can change your city and then you can change the you you know the nations but it always starts with yourself and everything what i just said really came from the bottom of my heart i really want the best for you and i really want you to um, use your potential and to use the things that you have in you. And if you don't use it, you lose it. You know, it's so simple. So make sure you really take this time, invest in yourself, what are things that you can work on. 
and um, I'm excited for you. And then whenever you are going to be back, trust me, people are going to be surprised and shocked and excited for you. So that was all from my side. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment this video. And I'm excited to see you next week. So see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>